Hey, Coach. Good afternoon. Ray Silva here from South Texas Border Sports. Uh, first of all, how has uh, practice been going, and what are you liking from your team so far? You know, we've uh, um, we've been here since June June the first. Um, you know, I, I, I like the way that um, my guys uh, have been putting forth their their willingness to try to you know trust me, trust my staff. You know, trust one another. That's that's the biggest thing that we've been trying to build uh, is some team camaraderie and 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 you know me being new and and, and our staff being new. Um, you know, we're just trying to uh, you know fill each other out and and, and take it day by day. And and uh, been real pleased with with the uh, um, our guys' willingness to uh, accept a, a new system, a new philosophy. You know, just you know, different style of coaching and, and uh, they've, they've welcomed it with open arms and, and um, um, really thankful that uh, I, I got a great group of, uh, we, we've, we've been blessed to have a great group of returners that's made this transition a, a lot smoother than uh, uh, when I uh, took over uh, at Austin P. Uh, I, I, I have a uh, really good group of guys that 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 uh, try to do what we ask them to do. Absolutely, and then you build a, your coaching staff with a lot of experience in the collegiate game and even in the professional game. How have they been able to adju adjust to your style of coaching and trying to uh, ease the process for you with recruiting and just piecing everything together as a staff? Well, you know, again, you know, it's been, it's a, uh, it's always a process and you're, and, and we're trying to uh, establish the, 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 the small things uh, with, with, you know, everybody uses the word culture. Uh, we, we're trying right now to, you know, establish the ground floor, the building blocks. Um, we've got a lot of experience on our coaching staff um, uh, with, with, with three guys, uh, including myself, it's, you know, been coaching close to 30 years. So, um, I think it's, I think it provides a, a wealth of knowledge, uh, to our players. No, it's, it's been great. Uh, you know, just, just having, a, um, the mixture of staff that we have and everything like that. And, uh, you know, we are going through, uh, um, the situation right now, you know, we're not trying to overstress our team. Um, we're trying to just to find ourselves and to be able to build uh, for the, for the long run, because it is, it's not a sprint. It is a marathon and basketball um, season doesn't uh, first game is still about, uh, you know, three or four months away. So, um, you know, it's one of those, one of those things that you are just trying to take it day by day and, and, and take it slow. Absolutely. And the fin final question I do have, uh, I know you haven't been long in the Valley, but, how excited is it for you to get this team out at the uh, South Padre Island uh, border um, border at a battle at the beach type of tournament now? Well, you, you know, one of the things that that's important to myself and to our, our campus and, and everything is that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm learning my way through the valley and I understand that um, we are the upper valley and uh, there's also the lower valley. And, you know, they're big supporters and we are the face of the Valley as far as uh, the university and everything. And so uh, I think it's a, I think it's an exciting opportunity to, to take our product to our, our loyal fans down in the, in, in the South part of the Valley and, and uh, very excited to be a part of it. Hey Matt, um, so kind of talk about the competition that you're going to get to face in this tournament. Um, Texas Tech obviously going to have an interesting season. We don't really know what to expect of them yet, but probably have a couple Texas Tech fans in the Valley and just being able to host a kind of in-state rival of that caliber at this type of venue. Yeah, I, I, I think it's good that, that uh, you know, we've partnered with with Texas Tech and um, to, to kind of host an event that uh, – Will be attractive for people in the uh, in the valley to come see uh, you know uh, two really good basketball games and and uh, uh, I'm sure there will be a lot of Red Raider fans uh, popping out of the woodwork. I, I would I would imagine there's quite a few um, you know being in in West Texas. I, I lived in West Texas a couple of years myself and and uh, 
you know, November can be a uh, uh, kind of a tumultuous uh, time of the year with the changing in the weather. So uh, being able for them to take a, a little bit of a, 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 a pre Thanksgiving uh, vacation down to the Island. Uh, I think, I think something that, that, that's very intriguing for them as well. So, um, you know, uh, I, I, I think that uh, Chase uh, Conk has put together a really good thing uh, starting uh, this upcoming season that we hope to continue for, for, for a long, long time. And, and, uh, and also have a lot of quality teams come down um, to South Padre Island and, and, and see some, some great basketball. And talking about Vaquero fans specifically, how important do you think it is to be able to play kind of the Valley's very spread out. It's about an hour 45 to get from Edinburgh to the Island and just kind of bringing your game to a different part of the Valley to maybe pick up a few more fans that might want to make that trip to some home games in the future. Well, I think I think you uh, I think you hit it right on the head. I think it's a, a situation where we need to take our product to the lower valley. I mean, as you said, the valley is spread out, and I'm learning the lingo and the language uh, that that Edinburgh McAllen's kind of considered the upper valley, and Brownsville and Harlingen, South Padre is the lower valley. Uh, and excuse me if I leave any other uh, town out, but I'm just trying to hit the kind of the main ones and and you know there are um uh you know if you include the entire valley I, you know the population's well over a million people so um that's an opportunity to put your product in front of a lot of fans and and i i think it's a very important piece going forward with the expansion of, of utrgv as a, as a growing university that the, that the 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 I always look at athletics as being the front porch to the house, which is the university. And so being able to put your, your, your front porch on display down in the Southern part of the, the, the Valley is, is just a win-win situation for us. And, and uh, you know, hopefully it will uh, uh, our style of play and brand of basketball. And, and, and uh, I, I think it's time that, that, that we start uniting the Valley um, I, I, you know, if you're not with us, you're against us. So I, I want to make sure everybody in the Valley knows that we're one strong uh, community from upper to lower part of the Valley. And, and uh, you know, if you're not with us, you're against us. So I want to, I want to make that our rallying cry and, and, and everybody unite together and make this a, a, a great situation for, for not only our university, but the entire Valley. Very good. Yes, uh, thanks so much. No, no problem. No problem. Uh, um, uh, I'm sorry it, I, I wasn't on it there last minute there, but uh, um, I'm, I'm available anytime you guys need anything. Because uh, I do think um, it's important that, 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 you know, we're in a, we're in a time that, that um, it's great to be part of UTRGV. Um, it, it's a it's a it's a situation where I think this place is ready. The valley is ready to explode with with uh, with growth and 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 a lot of other things. And and I'm very thrilled to be here.